special thanks to Patreon support Transfighter 8 for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's before here bringing you another Minecraft World War II BAFTA build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the HMS Fiji. The HMS Fiji was the lead ship of the Crown Colony class light cruisers built for the Royal Navy shortly before the Second World War. Completed in mid-1940, she was initially assigned to the home fleet and was detached to escort a force tasked to force French West Africa to join the Free French. The ship was torpedoed en route and required six months to be repaired. Fiji was then assigned to Force H where she helped to escort convoys to Malta. The ship was transferred to the Mediterranean fleet in early May 1940 after the Germans invaded Crete. A few uh, weeks later she was sunk by a German aircraft uh, on the 22nd of May after having fired off all of her anti-aircraft ammunition. Um, so yeah, really a cool ship and a very interesting class. I never actually knew about this class of uh, uh, light cruisers from the British, but I actually really like it. Um, the superstructure has a really modern look and while it's hard to really capture and display properly in the 1.5 to 1 scale, I strongly urge you guys to go in and actually check out the actual ship um, itself. And the superstructure itself just looks super interesting it looks really kind of modern for um its time uh but obviously it still looks like a world war ii ship definitely with the back and all that stuff but um overall really cool ship and um you know basically this could apply to all uh crown colony ships so this is also a cool thing so you have you know obviously multiple ships and you don't need to just do uh the one fiji ship here so that's also really cool and we haven't done a british cruiser i think ever so um you know fun little addition to the um Map, or to any of your maps or any of your map to build fleets and all that stuff you got going on anyways i want to go ahead and give a special thanks to patreon support transfighter 8 for making this tutorial possible and if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more than you guys already do feel free to check my patreon page link is down in the description where you go ahead and where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount every every month and uh you know it helps me out with the channel and you earn a vehicle request of your choice for doing so so feel free to check it out again link is always down in the description Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the HMS Fiji um, Crown Colony class uh, light cruiser and see exactly what we got going on here. So like all BAFTA builds, we got highly detailed um, design for it and a little bit of a canvas scheme going on as well for it. Not the real fancy for it, but just uh, real basic and straightforward. It's got um, six, I think, 152 millimeter uh main guns in the front and six in the back so giving you a grand total of 12 and there's four triple mount turrets with those guns in it so um it has a pretty good you know amount of armament for the uh you know cruiser and all that stuff size um so we have two turrets obviously in the front the bow of the ship we have the conning tower here the main conning tower all the different uh instruments instruments some a gun positions fire control systems and the uh bridge obviously all located up in this area right here we got the main mast here followed by the first uh smokestack here the second one right behind it cranes um it does have a catapult um there is no aircraft on the catapult because i couldn't really pinpoint exactly what aircraft uh was placed on this kind of vessel so i just went ahead and left it without um going ahead and continue on the back here we got lifeboats a little midsection here some uh secondary guns um spotlights all that kind of stuff uh continue on the back here we have uh the rear mast here uh some more spotlights and stuff like that we also have this little walkway that leads around pretty much near the bottom of the ship here almost at water level we got the torpedoes and uh more lifeboats and stuff like that all um looking in that bottom walkway and on the back, we got our, uh, you know, second set here of two um, turrets. So pretty cool back here. And that pretty much wraps off the back of the uh, ship and all that stuff. So overall, really cool looking ship. Um, really do love the way it looks. I think it is a um, really fun ship to add to our BAFTA build fleet. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy the build. Without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer one. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into the tutorial, we're we'll going ahead and get, beginning with our first layer, layer 1. Now, uh, layer 1 is just going to be basically doing the bottom here of the hole. As you can see, I already have the right side already built. We're going to do the center line and then build the left side as the uh, hole here beginning is perfectly symmetrical and all that stuff. So, um, just a little bit easier speeds up the process here. But once we probably get into our third layer up, we're probably going to start doing it all by hand as we start to get into some complex and um, intricate little details and stuff like that going on. 
Um, so to begin with, the first thing we need to make sure is that obviously we have this at the right position. I imagine most of you guys building these are probably going to want these in the water. So to make sure that you have this at the correct height, you're going to want to make sure that you have a full block of water uh, basically above this. So you can see here this light blue wool representing the water level and you can see that these top slabs here fall kind of underneath it. Um, so very important to make sure that your ship sits correctly, make sure that that is um, set up accurately. And with that all done, we can go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a long row of brick top slabs. And this row right here is going to be a total of 32 top slabs back. And this is going to be the very center line here of the ship. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and skip a space of two brick top slabs. And then place down two more on the back here like that, which will be part of the rudder. With that all done, we have our center line complete. And now it's time to work our way out to the outsides. We're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going from the front here, the bow of our ship. So we're going to have it facing, obviously, that direction there. And we want to go ahead and go back to the ninth brick top slab back. We're then going to place down a brick top slab out to the side. And this row is going to be a long row of bricks. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Or my bad. Uh, we went a little bit too far here. We should have 16 brick top slabs along the side here. We can go ahead and just double check our count here and see that we have 16 brick top slabs along the side there. Um, and actually, we are actually supposed to go a little bit more, so I was confusing this with this row right here, but we can go a little bit more, my bad. Um, so we have 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So I was correct originally, uh, so 20 brick top slabs right on the side there. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and then go ahead and take our brick top slabs. We're going to go ahead and go to our row to the side here. We're going to go ahead and count to our uh, fifth row back. We're going to go ahead and place down a brick top slab out to the side, and we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 brick top slabs back along the side there. So you have the center line, you have the right side there, the left side, you're going to go and make sure that, that is correct on both sides here. And this is what the base here for layer 1 should look like. Make sure it's all correct because if it, if it isn't, it's not going to line up properly when we move on to the next uh, layer. Anyways, that's going to wrap that up. Let's move on to our next layer, layer 2. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have uh, layer 2. For layer 2, we're going to go ahead and go to the bow of the ship. The front, we're going to place down a red terracotta block on top of this brick top slab, followed by one, two, and three more red terracotta blocks back. Once that's done, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair to the side, and coming off this brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a second stair like this. So we have a corner stair and then a regular upside down stair like that. After this brick upside down stair, we're going to place down one, two, and three red terracotta blocks back. On the side of this red terracotta block, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair like this, and then we want to go ahead and go back from it one, and two more stairs. So you have the corner stair and then two stairs back. With that done, we're going to take a red terracotta, place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen red terracotta blocks back. We then want to place down one and two brick ups and down stairs back. And uh, this actually, this first brick stair is actually going to be a corner stair. So we're going to place down an upside down corner stair, followed by a regular brick upside down stair. We then want to place down a second brick stair back like this, and then a brick corner stair like that. So we have two regular stairs, a corner stair on this side, corner stair on that side. On the inside here of the uh, second brick regular stair and corner stair, we're going to place down two red terracotta blocks back, followed by an additional one more that goes back like so. With that done, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair, come off this red terracotta block, and in the middle space here on top of that brick top side, we're going to place down a red terracotta block like that. Coming off that red terracotta block, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair, followed by an upside down stair facing that stair, followed by two red terracotta blocks back on these two brick top slabs. With that done, we're then going to place down a uh, end rod coming off this brick stair, and uh, we're also going to place down a birchwood slab coming off that end rod like that on the sides there. When that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to this brick corner stair, place down an end rod and a birch slab coming off it as well. So we have our props here for the back of the ship like that. And uh, once that's done, you're going to obviously take what we did on the left side here, flip it over to the right side. And once you have that complete there on both sides, that's going to pretty much wrap up layer uh, number two. And with that, let's move on to our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer three. Layer three is where we're going to go ahead and start to build it all together. So we have the first two layers knocked out and complete. And this is where we're going to start building it up layer by layer all together. So for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of this red terracotta block, followed by a wither skeleton skull to both sides of that polished andesite block. We then want to go ahead and go back, one more polished andesite block back, and then we want to grab ourselves a spruce wood plank. Um, so let's grab ourselves a spruce wood plank, place down a spruce wood plank here, and then a stone brick upside down stair to both sides of that spruce wood plank. 
When that's done there, we're going to take our polished anisite. We're going to place down one, two, and three, four polished anisite blocks back. Same thing over here. One, two, three, and four polished anisite blocks back like that. On the uh, fourth polished anisite block, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall out to the side and then one more back from it like so. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. We then want to take our polished anisite blocks. We're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine polished anisite blocks back. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. When we get to this section here, we're going to place down an uh, iron bars on the inside, or basically on both sides there, followed by a polished anisite block on the insides, right next to them like that. Um, after that's done, we're also going to place down a sign that's coming off of the iron bar like that to both ends. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of quartz full blocks, coming off these uh, um, iron bars like that going along the side here, and coming off the sides of these uh, quartz full blocks, we're going to place down some signs on the side here, like so. With uh, that finished there, we're going to go ahead and take our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick stair facing this direction on both sides here, and then a polished anisite block on the inside here of that stair. We also want to go ahead and go to the side of the stair, place down a sign as well to both sides, just like that. With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab back from the uh, stone brick stair, so stone brick slab back on both sides, polished anisite block on the inside here, and a wooden sign on both sides of the slab here on both ends. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and place down another stone brick stair, so just like before, stone brick stair here on both sides, don't break the bottom of your ship, obviously, and then a wooden sign on the side of these stairs. And then in the middle space here, just a polished anisite block next to those stairs. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and come into this section here. We're going to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs facing this direction across the middle here. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone slab to both sides. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of polished anisite blocks across, followed by a second row of three after that. And then on the sides here, we're going to place down a anvil and then a stone slab on both sides. With uh, that done there, we're going to place down a, a row of two of stone brick stairs along the side here. So one and two stone brick stairs, same thing over here, one and two, and we're going to place down wooden signs on the front of the stairs. So same thing on both sides here. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to take our polished anisite, place down a polished anisite block on both sides. We're going to take our cobblestone walls, place down one, two, and three cobblestone walls, one, two, and three. And in the uh, middle space here, we're going to go ahead and go to the second and third cobblestone wall and place down polished anisite blocks here on the inside. Going back from this polished anisite block along the side here, we're going to go back one, two, and three blocks. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. And then on the very back here, we're going to place down a polished anisite block on this red terracotta block and then a cobblestone wall on the corner spaces to round off the back like so. When that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves stone buttons and we're going to place down stone buttons on all the polished anisite blocks. So all the way along the side here. So wherever we can place down a stone button on these polished anisite blocks, we're going to do that. And these are going to represent the kind of like the portholes um, that the um, the uh, clown or the crown uh, colony class uh, light cruisers have uh, all over the ship. So just like that. And then once that's all done, just to kind of do a little bit of cleaning up and everything like that, uh, we can go and take spruce wood planks, which we'll go and grab here. And we can fill in the whole deck by going ahead and going to all this empty space here and filling it in with spruce wood planks. And once we have it filled in with spruce wood planks, you can see it looks nice and clean for this layer. Uh, you can see what it looks like from above. above. We got our stone buns on both sides here and make sure you didn't miss a Paul stand site block like I did right there. And um, yeah, you should have something that looks just like this from up above here. And with that complete, that's going to do it for layer three. Let's move on to layer four. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. One thing I should mention real quick is that if you want to add the camouflage, the, if you want to add the camouflage on, sorry, uh, just been a long day recording tutorials. Uh, but if you do want to add the camouflage onto the uh, ship itself, you can obviously do that. Um, we're going to be doing that at the end, so it's a little bit easier and kind of easy to just to add in. So instead of doing it kind of layer by layer, so we're just doing it all gray to begin with, and then you can add the camouflage on later. So in case you're wondering why we're not doing that, just that's the reason why. Anyway, start off in the front here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this polished anisite block, followed by a stone brick slab that goes back from it. On both sides of this stone brick slab here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then going back from that, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on top of these two stone brick stairs like that and try to keep the faces toward the inside like so. With that done there, we're going to place down a redstone comparator facing that direction like so. 
We then want to skip a space, place down a stone brick stair on the spruce wood plank here, followed by a stone brick corner stair to both sides of that stair. We're going to go ahead and take some end rods, place down one, two, and three end rods coming off these three stairs across there, like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, come off this polished andesite block here, and to both sides, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a cobblestone wall and place down a cobblestone wall, followed by a sign coming off that cobblestone wall to the sides, like that. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to take our polished andesite, we're going to place down a row of three across, followed by a stone brick slab on both ends. We then wanted to go ahead and grab ourselves some spruce wood planks. We're going to place down a row of three the spruce wood planks across, followed by a stone brick stair, again on both sides. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, polished andesite blocks. We're going to run a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven polished andesite blocks back from the stone brick stairs. Same thing over here as well. And we can go ahead and fill in the space in, in the middle here, uh, all with some spruce wood planks. So just going in and fill it in so it's nice and solid here. And then uh, we can go and take our stone buttons in on the side of these polished andesite blocks, place our stone buttons running along the side here. Same thing over here, just like that. Uh, with that all done here on the back, we're going to place down a stone brick slab here in the middle, followed by a stone brick stair that's going to be facing this direction here on both sides. One quick adjustment is we want to go ahead and go to this last row of spruce wood planks, and we're actually going to swap this out for polished andesite blocks to so get something that looks like that on the back there. When that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick slab here to both sides on coming off the backs of the stone brick stairs. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a row of three of spruce wood slabs across the middle here, a stone brick stair to both or stone brick slab to both sides. We then want to take daylight centers, place down a row of five of daylight centers across for the catapult. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of spruce wood plank or spruce wood slabs, sorry, across the middle, and then we're going to place down a lever on top of these two quartz full blocks and have the levers flipped in to connect up to the spruce wood planks. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a um, end rod that is going to go on the middle spruce wood plank here, followed by a stone brick stair like this on both sides of it. Coming off the uh, back of the stair here, connected to the quartz full block, we're going to place down a lever and have it flicked in to connect up to the stone brick stair like that. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our polished andesite, place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by a stone brick slab to both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of polished andesite across, followed by again a stone brick slab to both sides. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a anvil on top of the stone brick stair, both sides like that, and then a row of three of polished andesite across in between them. With that done there, we're going to place down a row of five of polished andesite across, and we're going to place down a second row of five of polished andesite across as well, all the way like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of polished andesite across the middle again, followed by again an anvil to both sides. Uh, we then want to place down a row of three of polished andesite across the middle again, followed by a stone brick slab on both ends. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down another row of three of polished andesite, followed by a second row of three after that. We then want to take brown carpet, place it down on top of the stone brick slab, polished andesite block, same thing over here on this side as well. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a polished andesite block here, cut off the polished andesite block like that, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on both ends like this, and then on top of this cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down a brown carpet on both sides as well. Uh, continuing on, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair again, right here, followed by a cobblestone wall, again both sides, and coming off this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a wooden sign on the side of it like that. We then want to place down a stone brick stair, come off the stone brick upside down stair, stone brick corner stair on both sides of the stair, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three end rods coming off of it for the barrels of the main gun back here. Uh, when that's done, we're going to place down a brown carpet on top of these two polished andesite blocks, and then we want to grab ourselves redstone repeaters and place them down on top of these polished andesite blocks with the notches flicked out to the sides and a stone button in the middle in between them. After that's done, we're going to place down an end rod on top of this polished andesite block, followed by one more end rod on top of it just like that to go ahead and wrap that off for the back there. Uh, once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up layer four of the build. And with that, we can go and move on to our next layer, layer five. All right guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, to go ahead and begin with, we're gonna go ahead and place down a end rod on top of this uh, stone brick stair like that. After that's done, we're gonna go ahead and go back to this polished andesite block here. We're gonna place down a stone brick stair on top of it, followed by a stone brick corner stair on both sides of the stair. Like we did for the gun before, we're going to place down three end rods coming off those three stairs like that. On the back of this middle stair, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, cobblestone wall to both sides, and a wooden sign coming off the cobblestone wall again to both sides like that. 
Uh, with that done, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves some brown carpet, place down a brown carpet on this polished anesthetic block on both sides here. And we also wanna go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate and place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off this, or on top of this spruce wood plank and aimed or flicked backwards like that. And also we wanna take our wood signs and place them down on these sides here of the cobblestone walls for the turret too, just like that as well. With that done, coming off the dark oak wood fence gate, we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides, and on top of the polished anesthetic block like this, we're going to place down a brown carpet. Going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a narrow row of three of polished anesthetic across, and then we're going to place down a cobblestone wall to both sides. When that's done there, we're going to place down another row of three of polished anesthetic across here, followed by again a cobblestone wall on both sides. When that's done there, we're going to place down a narrow row of three polished anesthetic across the middle, stone brick upside down stair to both sides. Uh, we then want to go ahead and do another two rows of three of polished anesthetic with cobblestone walls on both sides. So just like this, wrapping it up toward the back here. And so you get something that looks just like this from the sides here. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go into the creative menu, grab ourselves a item frame, and we are also going to need to grab ourselves a snow block or some sort of white block. And to do life wraps on the side here of the conning tower, we're going to place down five item frames along the side and place down snow blocks, you know, like so. And same thing over here as well, just like this, and you have your life rafts, or what's supposed to represent the life rafts, mounted onto the sides of the conning tower. Uh, with that done, on the back section here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of iron bars across, just like that. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and come back to this section here, we're going to place down a quartz slab on top of this end rod, and then we want to place down an iron bar to both sides of this quartz slab. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block here on top of the middle one right there, followed by a stone brick stair facing this direction on both sides of that polished anesthetic block. And then coming off the side of the stone brick stairs, we're going to place down an item frame with a polished anesthetic block in the item frame like this. And again, that's going to be on both sides of those stairs. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, stone brick uh, stair here in the middle. And then to the sides, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like that on both sides. Uh, once that's done, we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of these anvils. So just like down on both sides and coming off the um, the uh, stone brick stairs going forward, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate and open the fence gate toward the stair like so. Um, in the middle space here, uh, we actually want to go ahead and twist this real quick. So originally I told you to put down a row of three of polished anesthetic. We actually want to swap this out for a row of three of stone brick slabs. So my apologies there. Just go ahead and make that simple change and you'll be good to go right there. Um, anyways, once that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a quartz stair on this these polished anesthetic blocks here like this, and then a quartz slab that goes back from those quartz stairs, and then we want to place down a redstone repeater in between the quartz stairs and have the notches out to the sides like that for some lifeboats here. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone buttons, and for a bit of detail, place down some stone buttons on top of these polished anesthetic blocks like that. Um, after that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a polished anesthetic block right here in the middle. And we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, narrow brick fence post to both sides of it. Uh, we're going to then place down a stone brick stair on those two anvils. And like we did up in this section here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, come off those two stone brick stairs like that for the guns. Uh, with that done, uh, for our uh, next row here, we want to go ahead and then place down a narrow brick fence post in the middle here, followed by a lever. That is going to be flicked out to the sides and make sure that, that they are opened up toward the sides like that for some anti-aircraft guns. Uh, we then want to place down a polished anesthetic block here in the middle, followed by a stone brick slab on both sides. And like we did before, we're going to have a dark oak wood fence gate coming off of this uh, stone brick slab. So just like this. And same thing over, on the, over here on this side as well. So uh, just like that on both sides. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. So let me go ahead and grab it real quick. We're going to place down an upside down stair like so. And then on both sides of this upside down stair, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall. Coming off the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a wooden sign on both sides. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair, followed by a stone brick corner stair on both sides of the stair. Coming off the three stairs here, we're going to place down three iron bars or end rods across. And uh, once we have that all done, that is pretty much going to wrap that all up for layer number five. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer six. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer six. For layer six to go ahead and get started here, we're going to place down an end rod on top of this one up here in the front. 
After that's done, we're going to work our way back to this section here. We're going to place down a skeleton skull that's going to go on top of this uh, dark oak wood fence gate. So just like that. Uh, after that, we're going to take a polished andesite block, place it down on top of this one here, followed by a cobblestone wall to both sides. We then want to go ahead and go into the created menu again, grab ourselves a item frame, and we're also going to need to grab ourselves some black wool blocks. Now for the uh, bridge windows here, we're going to place down item frames around the two sides here, the cobblestone walls on top of the, or on the side here, the polished andesite block, and over here on this side as well to go ahead and make the windows surrounding the bridge there. With that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on. So for this, we're going to go ahead and get some stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a stone brick stair coming off this polished andesite block, followed by a stone brick corner stair to both sides of those stairs. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick slab, followed by a um, dark oak wood fence gate. We're going to place down a stone brick sl slab out to the side. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate, opened up toward the slab like that on the outside. And we're going to do the same thing over here as well and uh, your item frames may break here if you're having to place a block on the bottom here. I think the newer versions of Minecraft don't really require you to um, have a block underneath the fence gates, which is nice, but you know, for me, I stopped there. So just make sure there's a fence gate on both sides there, opened up toward the slab. Anyways, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a polished andesite block here in the middle, followed by a cobblestone wall on both sides, and then we also want to place down a narrow brick fence post on top of this cobblestone wall on both sides like that. For our uh, next row here, we're going to place down a stone brick stair that's going to be in the middle here, followed by a stone brick slab to both sides. Um, I'll come off this stone brick slab, we're going to want to go into the created menu, grab ourselves a item frame again, and we're also going to need a uh, glass block. We're going to place down an item frame on the side here, followed by a glass block in the item frame. Same thing over here for little spotlights. And uh, we then want to go ahead and grab a lever and place down a lever, come off this, pulp, this uh, stone brick stair or on top of it and have it flicked out to the sides there for a smaller caliber A gun. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a polished andesite block here in the middle, followed by a stone brick stair like this to both sides, and coming off the front of the stone brick stairs, we're going to be placing down an item frame like that on both sides. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves uh, redstone repeaters, and on these polished andesite blocks here, we're going to place down redstone repeaters with the notches flicked out to the sides like so. And in the middle space, we're going to place down a polished andesite block like that. Uh, to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick stair, dark oak wood fence gate, some skeleton skulls. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on this polished, or, or on that cobblestone wall, followed by skeleton skulls on both sides of the um, stair. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood fence gate, open it up toward the stair like that, and we're going to do the same thing over here. So just like that. And we have those two guns on both sides here, and skeleton skulls on the side of these stairs. Once that's done on these iron bars here, we're going to place down a skeleton skull on the middle one and then a skeleton skull to both sides here at about a 30 degree angle next to that one right there on top of those iron bars. Uh, once that's done, going back here to this spot, we're going to place down a polished andesite block on top of this one here, followed by a stone brick stair uh, that is going to be on top of these stone brick stairs on both sides here. And coming off the back of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate opened up toward that stair like so. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a um, iron trap door that is going to go on top of these two cobblestone walls and out to the sides again we're going to grab ourselves some item frames and we're also going to need some glass blocks we're going to place down an item frame and a glass block and same thing over here a item frame and a glass block we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden signs and we're going to place down wooden signs on this side here of the iron trap doors so just like that um, after that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some Wither Skeleton Skulls. We're going to place down a Wither Skeleton Skull on these two narrow brick fence posts here at about a 45 degree angle like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post on the polished andesite block in between them, and then one forward to connect up to this narrow brick fence post here. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick slab coming off this narrow brick fence post to both sides, and then coming off the uh, stone brick slab, we're going to place down an item frame and like we did before for our spotlights, place down a glass block in the item frame like so to make more spotlights located on this mass. Uh, once that's done, we're going to place down a daylight sensor on top of this uh, polished andesite block and we can switch it to the night one so it has a little bit more of a better texture to match the um, color of the ship with a, kind of like a gray kind of color. And we then want to place down a end rod on both sides of this daylight sensor. Also, coming off the daylight sensor toward the front, we're going to place down a item frame like this and then a um, iron bar in it like that for this uh, 
I believe it's like some kind of uh, maybe radar or some kind of uh, gun control or gun command type system. Uh, once that's done, we're to place down another daylight sensor on this stone brick stair here. We're going to go ahead and switch it to blue as well. We then want to go and place down a sign on the side facing toward the back of the ship and the side facing toward the front. And then to the sides, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that on both sides. And it's on top of our uh, third turret right here. And with that all done, that's going to wrap up layer number six. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer number seven. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer seven. For layer seven to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down a iron trap door that is going to be uh, basically on top of this item frame or on top of the um, skeleton skull like this, followed by a sign that comes off of it toward the front there like so. Once that's done, we're going to take our uh, stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a stone brick slab on top of this polished anzite block followed by a skeleton skull at a 45 degree angle on both sides on top of these cobblestone walls. Um, so just like that on both sides there. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna place down a row of three of stone brick slabs on top of those stone brick stairs like that. And then we wanna place down a polished anzite block here on top of this um, polished anzite block here with a stone brick slab to both sides. Now with this done, we're gonna go ahead and then grab ourselves a daylight sensor. And uh, like we did before, we're going to place down a daylight sensor on top of this uh, fence post here. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, end rod coming off of it to both sides. So just like this to both sides, we're also going to switch the daylight sensor to blue. And we then want to place down an iron frame with a iron bar in it like that. Um, so just like we did on the back there of the ship in the previous layer, we're going to do the same thing over here on this side as well. So just like this, iron frame, iron bars change the color to blue. So with that all done there, we're gonna go ahead and then place down a uh, narrow brick fence post on top of this stone brick stair here. Go ahead and go back from this, we're gonna place down a narrow brick fence post on top of these two stone brick stairs and also a lever on top of this polished dance they block, fleece, uh, flicked backwards to face toward the rear here. Uh, on top of this polished dance they block here, we're gonna place down another polished dance they block that goes up like that. Going back to this section here, we're gonna place down a black wool block on top of this polished dance they block here. And then on top of this dark oak fence gate, we're gonna place down a stone brick stair like this. Going forward and on the sides of the stair, we're gonna place down a uh, basically signs. And over here on the side, we're gonna do the same thing. So stone brick stair and wooden signs here on sides. And we can't actually put signs on the middle here because obviously the signs take up one block space and we can't put them on both sides. So we're just gonna leave those blank. And then on the back of the stairs, we're gonna go ahead and place down levers facing upwards. Now, once that's done, we're gonna go and take our placeholder blocks or just a random block you can delete easily. We're gonna go and place down one block out to the side and an iron bar that goes forward like that. Then uh, you can delete those blocks and we're gonna do the same thing over here. So one black wool block to the side, one iron bar forward, and then delete this block like that. Um, so we have these iron bars here on both sides there. Um, then going ahead and coming back to this section here, we're gonna place down a narrow brick fence post on top of this one like so. And then we just wanna place down a uh, with their skeleton skull coming off that narrow brick fence post like that toward the front there. With that all done, that's going to wrap up layer 7. And with that, we're going to move into our final layers, which are going to be layers 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. We're going to go ahead and basically do all the uh, stuff that's left for us to do and pretty much wrap up the ship and the tutorial. Uh, so with that, let's move on to our last final layers, 9 through 14. All right, so I said that we were wrapping up with uh, layers 9 through 14. It's actually 8 through 14, so my apologies on that one. Uh, but anyways, going ahead and uh, wrapping it up for our final layers, 8 through 14. To start off with, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this polished anzite block. And to both sides of the stair, we're going to place down a end rod like this to both sides. Once that's done, we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post on top of this one right here, followed by a narrow brick fence post on top of these two fence posts back here as well. On top of these fence posts here, these two back ones, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull at about a 45 degree angle on top of the fence post. So it's going to basically be something just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a fence post, narrow brick fence post on top of this one up here, and then one back like that in between the wither skeleton skulls. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up with another fence post up like this, and we're going to have a wither skeleton skull come off this fence post like this toward the back here. We then want to grab a wooden trap door. We're going to place down a wooden trap door on top of the stone brick stair and have it opened up like so. Um, once that's done, we're going to go to the top here, place down a stone brick upside down stair, followed by one and two end rods out to both sides of the stair. And then coming off of it toward the front, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. After that's done, going up to the top here, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two, narrow brick fence post going up, end rod like that on top, 
and then a end rod coming off of both sides of this narrow brick fence post right there. Um, after that's done, we're going to go back to the cranes here. We do have a little bit of work to do with this. And actually, real quick, we do have the smokestack to finish off. And this is real simple, just a black wool block on top of that polished anzite block like that. Anyways, back here for our cranes, we're going to place down a stone brick slab that's going to be on top of this lever, kind of out to the side here. So it's going to go on top of the lever. And then we're going to place down one out the side, delete the first one so you get something that looks like this. And then we just want to place down a upside down stair on top of the iron bar here on both sides. So same thing like that and that's going to do it here for these two uh, cranes. After that's done, going back to the um, rear mast, we're going to place down a narrow brick fence post that goes up like this, followed by end rods coming off all four sides of the fence post. After that's done, we're going to place down another fence post up like this, followed by a end rod out to both sides. And then after that's done, we're going to place down a fence post that goes up again, just like that. And on both sides of the fence post here, we're going to place down a polished dance or a wooden sign on both sides here. And we also want to place down a wither skeleton skull like that, come off that fence post. After that's done, we're going to place down one and two end rods up like this. And we're going to go and take a dark oak wood fence gate and place them down, opened up, going ahead and going and connecting to the end rod there in the middle like that for the mast there. And with that all complete, that's going to pretty much wrap up the uh, build and uh, it's going to complete players 9 through 14. If you want to go ahead and add the camouflage on, I'm going to kind of briefly show you guys how to do it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, so let's go ahead and move into the camo real quick. So the camouflage for the build itself is really simple and it just basically involves taking some gray concrete and mixing it into the ship. So um, the beauty about it is you can just go ahead and do the same thing on both sides or you can do something a little bit different on both sides. Um, just make sure that whatever blocks you delete, you replace uh, if there was a stone bun on them or something like that. So you can see I'm just kind of doing a random kind of like splotches of this kind of gray, dark gray concrete um, on the side here of the hole. And I'm replacing the stone buns for it and everything like that. Um, you can even feel free to go ahead and go into the conning tower a little bit if you want to replace some of those blocks in there. But just note that obviously you can't switch the stairs or anything else because we don't have concrete stairs. Uh, but you can definitely like switch out all the polished anzite blocks and it does you know create a nice effect and you know you do get the um you do get the idea of kind of like a camouflage type pattern going on on it and you can kind of see what we got going on here uh we'll continue on toward the back here we can do some in the crane area right here maybe one on the side here like this and then as we work our way back you know some more um coming toward the back here and again make sure we replace any carpet any stone buttons anything like that we break and on the back here, just something like this. And again, replacing the redstone repeaters, brown carpet. Um, so you guys, you guys kind of get the general idea. It's nothing really fancy, any special way and thing really about doing it. Just throwing in some like or some dark gray concrete just to kind of add a little bit of color, some splotches and stuff like that to kind of give that effect of camouflage and stuff like that. And um, it's nothing perfect, but um, it does look pretty cool and just adds a little bit of color to the build it's, it's, as well. So. Um, if you want to add it, feel free to go ahead and do so. If not, obviously, it's perfectly fine in just a uh, gray color. Anyways, that right there is going to wrap up my tutorial for the HMS Fiji uh, uh, Crown Colony Class Light Cruiser. And I'll try saying that three times fast. But anyways, hope you guys do enjoy the build. Again, a big special thanks to Trench Fighter 8 for making this tutorial possible. Um, and of course, if you guys are interested in checking out my Patreon, uh, link is down in the description. And that, if you guys do know using this tutorial, do do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being anything from the side of the build, to link to my channel or this video if it doesn't create any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for in doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're free to use it for the projects you guys are working on. And that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett254, and I'll see you guys next time.